Good morning everyone. My name is Miss Kavita and I'm from the Lilburn branch of the Gwinnett County Public Library. Welcome to the first session of the Taste the World series. We all love food, right? Of course we do. Food functions as a universal language illustrating the history and culture of the place it represents while opening minds, raising awareness and encouraging diversity. And in teaching kids about other countries, many turn to food, leading young minds on a path of empathy and tolerance. Cooking is a life skill. It's the simplest tool we can arm our children with to help them learn to cook as they grow. It's also a perfect gateway to start a conversation with children about why certain cultures eat particular foods and how the dishes came to be. Getting out in your community and connecting with people from various cultures is a beautiful way to be able to understand global traditions, including food ones. Visit your neighbors, exchange recipes, talk about the food they cook. But in trying times like these, when it may not be possible to visit someone's home, even visiting a supermarket with unique ingredients and international foods gives you an insight to the variety of ingredients used in different cuisines around the world. For younger children, picture books are a perfect conversation openers for any topic, especially food ones and multiculturalism. Our book today is going to focus on the most important meal of the day, breakfast. We are going to take a trip around the world to see what breakfast looks like in different countries. And at the end of the story, we have a little trivia quiz, so make sure you're listening carefully. So let's enjoy this adventure of exploring the wonderful world of food through the eyes of people from around our beautiful planet. Are you ready? Well, our book is called Pancakes to Paratas, Breakfast Around the World by Alice B. McGinty, and it's illustrated by Tomoko Suzuki. It's breakfast time around the world in countries near and far Wake up world, it's time to eat, no matter where you are. What's for breakfast in Australia? Breakfast in Australia is a black and salty paste, thinly spread on toasted bread. It's quite a shocking taste. Vegemite is the name of the salty paste. It's made from brewer's yeast, an ingredient in bread making, and it's loaded with vitamins. It may take a little time to get used to its strong taste, but once you do, it's delicious. Wake up countries, one by one, eat breakfast with the rising sun. What's for breakfast in Japan? When kids wake up in Tokyo, their breakfast may be slimy, sour soybeans, fish and rice, and one raw egg, just try me. Natto or, or sour soybeans has a sour taste and a slimy texture, but it is a part of a nutritious traditional Japanese breakfast. Breakfast in Japan also includes cooked fish and rice, which kids may mix in bowls with soy sauce, natto, topped with a raw egg. And this hearty breakfast prepares the children for school. Now cross a little patch of sea to find a different cup of tea. What's for breakfast in China? Shanghai's breakfast is a ball sold on crowded streets, packed round and tight with sticky rice. It's filled with juicy meat. Tzi Fan Tuan is a what the Chinese call big balls of sticky rice loaded with pork and pickled vegetables. They're often hand rolled into a tube shape and in the bustling city of Shanghai, grandparents may pick up breakfast from one of the many street vendors and bring it home to the family's apartment for their grandchildren to eat before they head to school. Follow the sun from east to west. Where is sunrise coming next? What's for breakfast in India? Moms in northern India make bread fried flat and round, rip off some, then dip in sauce. The spices will astound. Paratha is fried round flatbread made with layered dough and is sometimes stuffed with spicy mashed potatoes. Families gather at their table to eat pie-shaped slices of paratha. 
They rip off pieces of the hot bread and dip it into sauces for flavor. Sauces can include a mildly spiced yogurt or chutney. Gather round, the family is here, a kitchen full of breakfast cheer. What's for breakfast in Israel? Breakfast here in Israel is a giant homegrown spread. Choose some olives from the grove, have some salad, pass the bread. Israeli breakfasts are famous for being feasts filled with fresh fruit grown in the warm climate. Busy families may eat quickly on weekday mornings, but on Saturdays, the Sabbath, they relax together at breakfast, passing around foods from the big spread on the table. Kids eat chopped salads made from tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions. They eat bread such as pita and braided chala, along with cottage cheese, eggs, and salted herring. The day's first food is such a treat. Now who's awake and who wants to eat? What's for breakfast in Nigeria? In Africa's Nigeria, a kid's first meal is crunchy, deep fried fritters made of beans, cooked with peppers, hot and munchy. Akara is the name of these crunchy fritters that Nigerian families eat. They are made with flour ground from black-eyed peas, which are a type of bean, and they are cooked with hot peppers such as chilies to add flavor. While one place sleeps, another plays, but always breakfast starts their days. What's for breakfast in the Netherlands? Delicious chocolate sprinkles spread on buttered bread. It's the perfect morning meal to coax you out of bed. Haklashak is the name of these flavorful sprinkles that children and adults spread onto thick slices of buttered bread. They can choose from chocolate, vanilla, or a colorful mix of fruit flavors haklashak before they head off to school. Who's next to hear alarm bells chime telling them it's wake up time? What's for breakfast in the United Kingdom? A morning treat in London has sausages and bacon, a hearty English breakfast to warm you when you waken. Rashers are thick slices of bacon and bangers are sausages. They are a part of a full English breakfast, a plate piled with baked beans, toast fried in butter, fried mushrooms and tomatoes, and a fried egg on top. This breakfast is a treat on weekends or holidays. On weekdays, kids may eat cereals such as Weetabix, which is served hot or cold with milk and sugar. Now head south, cross oceans grand, you'll end up in a different land. What's for breakfast in Brazil? Kids drink coffee, warm and sweet, for breakfast in Brazil. It's smooth as silk with lots of milk. Sip, then dip, then fill. Children's morning coffee is called café con leche, which literally means coffee with milk. It has more milk than coffee and is sweetened with sugar. And to complete this light breakfast, many children love fruit and a fresh mini baguette baked that morning at a neighborhood bakery to dip in their coffee. Across the waves, the rising sun, an island's time for energizing. What's for breakfast in Jamaica? Breakfast in Jamaica is yellow like the sun. Cornmeal porridge, thick and sweet. Come and get it, everyone. Cornmeal porridge is often cooked with coconut milk, sugar, vanilla and cinnamon to give it a full sweet flavor. As Jamaican kids start the day dressed neatly in their school uniforms, they may also eat tasty yellow fruits such as papaya, pumpkin, boiled yam and fried plantains. As earth keeps turning, chase the sun, its westward trip is almost done. What's for breakfast in Mexico? 
top a corn tortilla with salsa, eggs and beans for spicy, feisty breakfast of yellows, reds and greens. Well, huevos is the Spanish word for eggs. And in Mexican families, huevos are served with many colorful and tasty ingredients, including beans, cheese, peppers, guacamole, and are topped with either salsa roja, that is the red salsa, or sal salsa verde, which is the green salsa. Breakfast to breakfast, you've come a long way. There's one more breakfast left in the U.S. of A. What's for breakfast in the United States of America? Is it pancakes, maybe cereal, or bacon, eggs, and ham? A big tall glass of orange juice served with toast and jam. On busy school days, breakfast for kids in the United States often consists of cereal or a bagel or toast and jam with a glass of orange juice or maybe some milk. From pancakes to paratas, from Vegemite to toast, wake up world, it's time to eat the meal we love the most. So that was a wonderful story. So if you've been paying attention, we are going to have a little trivia quiz and let's see how much you remember from our story. It's trivia time. Let's see how many of these questions, mostly from the story, you can answer. Are you ready? Let's go. We started our journey in Australia. What is the name of the black salty paste that is spread on toasted bread? The answer is Vegemite. Kids love Vegemite so much that they bring Vegemite sandwiches with tomato or cheese for school lunch. They also spread the Vegemite in between crackers so that the spread comes out of the cracker holes like little worms. For our next question, let's take a short flight to Japan, the land of the rising sun. Would it be common for rice to be eaten for breakfast in Japan? Yes, breakfast in Japan does include rice, which children love to mix with soy sauce and natto, which are sour soybeans. They are extremely nutritious. Did you know, as children in Tokyo walk to school, they wear bright yellow caps so that they can easily be seen by drivers on busy streets. Awesome! For our next stop, we head to China and order the Sifan Tuan for breakfast. Now we know these are sticky rice balls, but can you tell me what these are stuffed with? Well, that's right. These are loaded with pork and pickled vegetables. And did you know another common breakfast food in China is tea eggs, which are hard-boiled eggs soaked in tea. Our next destination was India and the delicious paratha for breakfast. Do you remember the names of the dipping sauce that paratha is eaten with? That's right. The delicious paratha is eaten with chutney and yogurt. But did you know that chutney is a relish that's made from mango, tomato, cilantro, or mint combined with hot peppers and spices such as ginger or garlic? Moving on to Israel, do you think we will see salads as a part of breakfast there? Yes, salads as well as bread such as Pitas along with cottage cheese and eggs are commonly eaten breakfast foods. But did you know, since the Israeli people originated from many countries, Israeli foods come from all over, like burekas, a filled pastry from Turkey, and shakshuka, an egg-topped tomato mixture from North Africa. On to the African continent, we stumble upon a breakfast snack known as akara, in which country, sometimes referred to as the giant of Africa, would akara be popular? 
The answer is Nigeria. Akara is a staple Nigerian breakfast item. Crunchy fritters made from black-eyed peas with hot peppers. And did you know that kids from villages and towns carry their akara wrapped in brown bags and eat them as they walk to school each morning? In the Netherlands, what is the name of the colorful sprinkles that people spread onto thick slices of buttered bread? They can choose from chocolate, vanilla, or a colorful mix. Well, the answer is haklashak. This is very popular with kids as well as adults. But did you know most kids bike to school? Younger kids ride on the front or the back of their parents' bike. A traditional English breakfast consists of a plate piled up with baked beans, toast, fried mushrooms, tomatoes with a fried egg on top along with rashers and bangers. Any guesses what these are? Well, rashers are thick bacon strips and bangers are sausages. But another favorite breakfast item is eggs and soldiers. Any guesses what that is? Well, they're soft-boiled eggs served in egg cups with sticks of toast to dip into the yolk. Heading south to Brazil, children in Brazil drink warm, sweet coffee for breakfast along with freshly baked mini baguette and fruit. What is that sweet coffee called? That's right, it's called café con leche, which literally means coffee with milk. What is breakfast called in Brazil? Café de manhã means breakfast in Portuguese, which is the official language of Brazil. Well, breakfast in Jamaica is yellow like the rising sun with sweet cornmeal porridge. What yellow fruits do you think they eat as a part of their breakfast? Delicious yellow fruits such as papaya, boiled yams, pumpkin, and fried plantains are an important part of breakfast in Jamaica. But did you know what the national dish of Jamaica is? It's aki and salt fish. Aki is Jamaica's national fruit and is cooked with dried salted fish. And cooked together, it looks like scrambled eggs, which is also a part of a yellow Jamaican breakfast. Moving on west, we're almost home. Breakfast in Mexico is colorful and tasty with beans, cheese, peppers, guacamole, salsa, and eggs, of course. So what is the Spanish word for eggs? Huevos is the Spanish word for eggs, and huevos rancheros is a typical breakfast served in Mexico featuring corn tortillas and plenty of warm salsa. Families eat together at the dining table around lots of color, fresh colorful food, colorful tablecloth, baskets of warm tortillas, and joyful music. We're home to the United States. Breakfast here could be a tall glass of orange juice with toast and jam, but can you think of anything else that we eat for breakfast in the U.S.? That's right. Pancakes, bagels, cereal, and eggs are other common breakfast foods in the U.S. Fun fact, breakfast on weekends can be more elaborate when there's more time to cook. Families make waffles, fun-shaped pancakes with fruits like blueberries or even chocolate chips, or maybe some eggs with bacon and ham. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a good time. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Food always connects us to the world and is a great way to experiment recipes at home with your family. 
Something you could try could be selecting a country to investigate through its food. Look at the country on the map. Look up fun facts about their culture. Search for ingredients or foods associated with it and explore recipes based on those ingredients. Or choose a category of food and create different versions of it from around the world, just like the breakfast around the world that we just learned about. So join us again for our next session in this series. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.